Now that we know a little bit about the uh, if then else, I'm going to show you how to use it in order to detect what button you're pressing. Now here I've just got the directional buttons and basically what I, I'm doing here, well first of all let's talk about the button command. The button command, uh, it's common practice to store it in a variable. Most of the time it's B. That way you know you don't have to type it out every time. You could put if button you know equals whatever you know number the button corresponds to and and you're definitely going to want to look this up in the in the guide because there's uh, there's numbers that return for every single button that you press and also those buttons whenever you press them together it adds the numbers together so let's say you know you, you wanted your character to walk down and right, then you would add the two numbers for down and right to make that character to to <clears throat> to detect, you know, that you're pressing both of those buttons together. But basically what I have here is I print a little person and then I move them using, you know, the, the X and Y variables of my locate and print commands. And of course, you know, I locate and print a blank space uh, so that it doesn't just clone him over and over again. I'll show you what it's all about. You see, it's it's a very simple program we got going on here. But if I if I remove these, let me show you what would well. Here, let's let's remove it from the locate. If I remove these, you know, I'll, I'll show you what happens. Uh, <laughs> this reminds me of uh, uh, Tron. <laughs> but yeah, that is why you want to. And you, you could probably make a neat little Etch-a-Sketch program out of this. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. And uh, I'm, I'm going to start trying to do... Um, more of these beginner tutorials and I know I don't have a whole lot of time to make really lengthy videos so I'm just gonna make a bunch of videos over the same stuff